my top five Halloween horror movies. Specifically, horror movies based around Halloween. Number five, Sleepy Hollow. Now, I know I'm starting off with a movie that's not necessarily based around Halloween, but hear me out. <laughs> it is, of course, just the tale of Ichabod Crane, but it's a little different than the Washington Irving story. It's changed, it's updated a little bit. Sleepy Hollow is directed by Tim Burton and stars Christina Ricci and Johnny Depp. The performances are great, and it's Tim Burton at his most Tim Burtoniest. It's just so fun. I watch it every single year around this time. It's not very scary, but I do consider it a horror movie. Horror light, because I do think it's very spooky and creepy and really atmospheric. Probably the only family-friendly movie on my list. <laughs> Sleepy Hollow is like a quintessential tale that is always based around Halloween and why not? It's just, it's on my list. <laughs> Number four, House of a Thousand Corpses. I love House of a Thousand Corpses, and I know that a lot of horror fans, movie fans in general, are sort of really divided on whether or not they like Rob Zombie movies. I think it's Rob Zombie's best film. I don't think he'll ever top it. It's got a stellar cast, a mix of actors that got really famous later in their years, but this was kind of like one of their first films, and horror icons like Karen Black and Sid Haig. This movie is based around Halloween to the Firefly family, the most special night of the year. And they have some very fun things and scary, awful things that they wanna do on this holiday to commemorate it to this poor group of young folk that happen to come into their life. I watch this movie every single year, sometimes twice a year. It reminds me of walking through a haunted house, injected with that iconic Rob Zombie redneck dirty feeling with his crazy colors, crazy music, crazy editing, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, gone haywire. The performances are all fan Fantastic. The actors fully commit to the ridiculousness that is this movie. No, this can't be real! This can't be real! This can't be real! This can't be real! This can't that is really what makes it for me. Even though what they're doing is kind of silly, they commit fully to it, and that's what makes it scary. Say what you want about Sherry Moon Zombie, but as Baby Firefly, she rocks my socks. I laugh a lot while watching this film, which I think is kind of the point. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's a horror comedy, but it definitely is a little tongue-in-cheek. If you haven't watched it, watch House of a Thousand Corpses. It is quite a ride. <laughs> Number three, Night of the Demons. Night of the Demons is an A's film about a group of young people who go to a abandoned spooky house to have a raucous Halloween party. It's not like the best piece of film you will ever watch. Hey, how about an orgy? But for a Halloween themed horror movie, it's quite iconic. One of the characters uh, played by Linnea Quigley, who is a horror icon herself, she's sort of being possessed by the demons and, and she's playing with her lipstick <laughs> and she's drawing all over her face with her pink, pink lipstick and then she pushes the lipstick right into her boob and it is ridiculous and really weird but super funny and cool. And then another iconic scene that I absolutely love that isn't ridiculous, I think it's actually really well done, is one of the characters does this amazing dance. I think I've talked about this in another one of my videos. She does this amazing dance to uh, a Bauhaus song um, that is just frenzied and probably one of the spookiest scenes in the movie. And she's just dancing all around in her goth glory. There's some really lovely moments and aesthetically creepy, awesome, gothy, fun scenes that are perfect for Halloween. Like even though the movie might not be great, it has like a lot of really good scenes in it. 
kind of kooky and it's sometimes not really that scary, but it definitely is a, a whole lot of fun to watch. I highly recommend Night of the Demons. It's, it's classic. Number two, Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat was a film that unfortunately did not get a theatrical release. Filmed in like 2007 and then finally released uh, straight to DVD. It's the same director as Krampus, uh, which I've talked about before. Michael Doherty or Daughtry, not sure how to say his last name, that's horrible, but it's one of those. Mike Doherty. I love everything that I've seen from him. It's a great movie focusing on the lore of Halloween, the rituals of Halloween, the chemistry between the three little kids or four little kids. Five is wonderful. I'd like to do a whole review on it, so I don't want to say too, too much because I have a lot to say about Trick or Treat. It's a anthology Halloween themed movie, but all of the different stories that they tell in this movie do connect. One of the ways that they connect is through this adorable little Halloween mascot, Sam. <laughs> my favorite Halloween mascot. I love him even more than Michael Myers, which is saying a lot. It's got everything. It's got creepy little kids, vampires, werewolves. It's got gypsies, grown men in wedding dresses, cranky old men being hunted down. Perfect horror, Halloween horror movie. Perfect, perfect. Number one, John Carpenter's Halloween. This is not only my favorite Halloween horror movie, but one of my favorite movies of all time. Halloween holds up. It scares me every time I watch it. It's scary. It's spooky. It's not that gory. It doesn't have to be. You hear the music and instantly hairs on end. Like it's such scary music. It's like Jaws. It gets under your skin. It's just classic in the way it gets to you. Michael Myers is, uh, just the Halloween icon. This movie was ahead of its time. It was fun, it was original, it was well acted, it was well shot. But if you haven't seen it, you probably have. But if you haven't, like, how dare you? Go watch Halloween right now because it is the absolute perfect and my number one Halloween horror movie. So thanks so much for watching. This is my top five. Halloween horror movies. There are lots of others out there, um, so please tell me what yours are in the comments. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll be making many more, and happy Halloween! Wow, we've been doing this for a year. Missed my actual anniversary, but ha happy anniversary to me and my husband. <laughs>